Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by my appearance as well as the title of this video, I look absolutely crazy because we are back with another curl cocktail video. If you're new to my channel, well the curl cocktail videos is pretty much where I do a wash and go trying different gels. I may combine them if I feel like the initial gel is not really given, but I like to try just different gels and find out what's going to make my wash and go just pop and look amazing. I do have a really, really thick, dense hair. It's about like a 4B, 4B, 4A, but it's a lot of hair, right? So not a lot of products work well for my hair type. It's not easy, you know what I'm saying? So, so I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about the Mish Scope Curl Defining Gel. So I'm going to be doing basically a first impressions for you. That is basically what a curl cocktail is. <laughs> so before you begin, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, my hair is wash that I do want to say I use all of Mish products for today's wash day I use the detox clarifying shampoo this is my second time ever using this absolutely loved it I use the indulge moisturizing deep conditioner use this a bunch of times I probably had about five of these I'm obsessed with this deep conditioner definitely in the top five now for my leave-in this is my first time using this this is the boost hydrating leave-in and curl refreshing spray so I did already apply that in the shower you guys know I like to do it that way because I have low porosity hair so that's really going to allow the product to penetrate my hair strands from the steam of the shower so I did even though it's in a spray bottle I can't really get jiggy with spray bottles because I have so much hair so I did just pour it in my hands I have to use quite a bit of it but I'm hoping that it works well I was going to use the lavish leave-in that they have which I've used before but I did like the little cottage cheese test with the gel and it, it kind of made a funny consistency that made me a little worried and I really don't want any flaking so I just opt out for that one and decide to use this one and then here is the gel so this is the sculpt curl defining gel I've seen videos of people using this like their ad videos on Instagram and it looks beautiful like shorty's curls is happening okay and her hair to me looked a little bit similar to mine so I'm hoping this works out so I have my spray bottle here on hand in case I need it my hair is soaking wet as you guys can tell it's all dripping down my face and whatnot but if I need a little bit extra water which I probably will spray a little bit more water I can go ahead and do that so we're gonna just spray this I'm going to finger detangle you guys know that is my method of choice when it comes to detangling it really allows me to get every little um, knot out without like pulling my hair like a tool would do like um sometimes I use my tangle teaser only when I'm doing like braid outs and stuff but for wash and goes I prefer to finger detangle my hair does smell absolutely amazing I will say that the product smells so good okay so we're gonna go in with the gel first I'm gonna show you guys what the gel looks like and the consistency of it this is what the gel looks like I'm gonna take about that much on my fingers I'm gonna warm it up in my hands then I'm going to smooth it on my hair then I'm going to rake I'm hoping that I don't have to combine this with anything. Oh, I might not have to, child. Look at how that curl just said, hey. Now, we all know, if you've been around here before and you've watched my videos before, this portion of my hair is always frizzy. I can never get it like super duper defined. So, I'm not going to stress too much about that section. Okay, my hair is definitely giving the girls definition. Now, me just feeling it, am I going to have hold? I know my eyes probably look crazy. I'm like, am I going to have hold? That, I don't know. But the curls definitely do look good. This is definitely giving me like big hair wash and go, like lots of volume on day one. I don't know, like I wish you guys were here in front of me because I really wanna ask you, do we, do we combine it with a like you know something heavy duty like you know how i like to use the wet line or do we just keep going with just this i don't know i don't know if my hair is gonna hold up with just this y'all know i am lazy i do not like to wash my hair every three days like i'm supposed to but i don't like to so i don't know i feel like i want to combine it i just know my hair i know my hair I know it very well, right? We all know our own hair. We do it so often. We know what our hair likes, what it doesn't like. And we know what our hair is supposed to look like when it's gonna come out popping and when you like, ooh, this might not last. 
And I feel like with this gel alone right now, my hair might not last. This gel might be amazing for like, like a braid out or something. This might slap, but as of right now, like, I don't know. My hair is defined though. <laughs> I hate when I'm just so confused. My hair is definitely defined and it feels so good. Like it does feel really good. It doesn't feel dry or nothing. Like, and you know what's so crazy? I've been complaining that my curl pattern hasn't been looking as tight as I'm accustomed to. Like, I was like, damn, I, I know I don't have heat damage. Like, why does my hair look so loose? Like, the curls look loose. But right now, it's not giving that at all. It's not giving loose at all. It's honestly, I could, I feel like my curls are slowly going back to normal. But, I don't know. I don't know. Do we keep going with just this or do we combine? Cause you know what it is? The gel doesn't feel like a gel. You know how gels kind of have like a tackiness to it, like a, a little bit of tackiness to it? This feels like a cream. And so I feel like my hair is gonna be hella soft, but is it going to hold? All right, you know what? F it. We're gonna stick with just this. I love Mish, I really do. I really do. Ooh, look at that curl! Nah, get into this one. Can we get into it? Wait, somebody look at this. Ah, she's cute. Hey, girl. Hey. But I love me, so I'm excited to be trying new products from them. This is not sponsored, by the way. I was gifted these products, so I do appreciate that, but this is not sponsored. They don't know that I'm doing this video. F it, we're just gonna stick with the gel, and we're gonna hope for the best. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section. I'm gonna take more gel now. I think that's what I need. I think I really need to like saturate my hair with this product really smooth it in, really get every strand, get them ends. Okay, see what I mean? Okay, I need you guys to see. This section right here looks frizzy, right? Because it's always frizzy, but this section looks way more defined. I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about. So that's why I'm trying to pretty much ignore this front section because she likes to be frizzy. That's the way she likes to live her life. And you know, sometimes we have to let our hair just do what it wants to do. Like we can't control everything. So I'm just going to try to brush that off. So my first quarter is done. So I'm just going to like go over it one more time with one more big scoop of gel, like the whole thing. Um, and then what I'm going to do is fast forward through the rest of my hair and you know, we'll stop. We'll look at it while it's wet, then I'll go dry and then We'll look at it then. So one thing you guys can pay attention to to know what the outcome of your hair is going to look like as far as flaking is how much white product or whatever color product you use it is sitting on your hair, right? I don't see any. Honestly, I don't see any product whatsoever. So that makes me feel like I'm not gonna have that issue. So this is what the first section is looking like. I hope you guys can tell I know my hair is pretty dark. So let me go ahead and do the rest of my head and we'll be right back. Back and this is the finished product. 
it's looking good it's looking good so this is not really a curl cocktail it ended up just being a review on the gel because i did not combine this with anything else but i do want to show you guys this was a brand new jar you guys know i have a lot of hair these eight ounce jars do absolutely nothing for me this is probably gonna give me like one more wash and go and that's about it like eight ounce jars literally are just two wash days for me so that's a little annoying i love Mish. don't get me wrong and this is like kind of like a compliment in a way i wish their products came in larger packaging like can i get a 16 can can a girl get a 16 please because i want to you know be able to keep on using it i'm gonna have to buy like two or three of them at a time so here are my thoughts as of right now while i'm looking at my hair one it's super defined it, it is really, really defined. I will give that. I don't know if you guys know, but right here is just a little bit of heat damage. So that's why that look a little funky right there. Two, my hair smells amazing. I know you guys can't smell it. And the crazy thing is I am getting a little cold. I don't know if I sound nasally to you guys, but I can smell the product. It smells really good, but it's not like crazy overbearing. My hair looks super duper shiny. It has movement right now. As you guys can see, it definitely has movement right now. Here are my concerns. Am I gonna have hold? It doesn't feel like a gels on my hair. It feels like a really just def mm, defining cream. like, And that could be a good thing because maybe I really need to stop using such sticky ass gels on my hair and maybe my hair will, will flourish a little bit more. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't know, how is it gonna hold up? I don't know, it's hot as hell here. It's like 91 degrees in Atlanta. So I guess we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sit under the dryer per usual. I'm going to dry my hair. I'll either be back today or tomorrow and I will let you guys know my final thoughts. But so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm really loving it. All right. So be right back. Okay, guys. And I'm back. If you hear a lot of noise, that's because my boyfriend's making a lot of noise. So I'm sorry about that. So these are the finished results. I feel like my hair came out pretty good. I'm actually really, really surprised that this gel gave this effect because it really did just feel like a cream, but I am completely satisfied. It has a lot of hold. I already went outside in the blazing heat, hence why I don't have any makeup on, and it held up nice. The humidity did not mess up my curls, so I am 100% pleased with it. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Support a black-owned business, of course. I will link the gel down below in case you guys wanna pick it up. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.